In this lesson, we'll be doing two examples on boiling point elevation. The first question reads, what mass of ethylene glycol, the chemical formula shown there in grams, must be added to one kilogram of water to produce a solution that boils at 105 degrees Celsius? So we're looking for the mass of the solute. The formula for the boiling point elevation is also shown here. And we already have most of what we need. For example, we already know the constant. It's 0.512. And we also know delta T because water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And this boils after adding the solute at 105. So the change is 105 minus 100 degrees Celsius, and that's 5. So we can find the molality of ethylene glycol by rearranging this formula. Let me show you. 5 is equal to little m times... 0.512, dividing both sides by 0.512, we end up with 5 divided by 0.512, 6.7656. And remember that molality is a measure of moles of solute per mass of solvent. So this is technically 9.7659 moles of the solute per one kilogram of the solvent. The next thing that I'll do is multiply this number to the mass of the solvent. Because by multiplying this number to the mass of the solvent, the water, which is 1.0 kilograms, we have the moles of the solute exclusively. In case you're confused, watch. I'm going to multiply this by 1.0 kilograms. This unit and this unit cancel out. And we can do that because 1 kilogram represents the mass of the solvent. Since we're multiplying by 1, we don't have to worry about anything here. But remember, the answer you do end up with between these two should be two significant figures. So now we have the moles of ethylene glycol, 9.7659. Remember, it should be two significant figures, so I'll put a dot underneath the seven. Using the molar mass of ethylene glycol, this should read grams per mole, I can now multiply this number by 6207. Multiply this by 6207 grams per mole this small unit and this small unit cancel out, leaving us with the amount of grams. So multiplying this by 62.07, keeping in mind two significant figures, we have 606.15 or 610 grams of sucrose is required to make the boiling point at 105 as opposed to 100. And if you want this number in scientific notation, because this is already two significant figures, but if you want, you can write down 6.1 times 10 to the power of 2 grams. Question 2 reads, calculate the boiling point of a 3.60 molal aqueous sucrose solution. This is actually quite easy. All we do is we take 3.6 and we multiply it to the constant 0.512. That will cancel out the units, giving us degrees Celsius. So 3.6 times 0 0.512. We end up with 1.84, and we want this to three significant figures. So 1.84 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees. So we add 100 degrees, and the new boiling point is 100.1.84. And if we're taking into account significant figures, we just leave it the way it is. And there you have it, two examples related to boiling point elevation.